Good afternoon. My name is Carmen Wabagajic Muchta. I'm the Director of Health and Community Wellness. Uh, welcome to this week. Um, we're going to change it up this week. Uh, we're going to um, have education join us and talk about uh, the reopening of the schools and how Thich Nhat Hanh will is helping our parents and families. Um, so for this week, um, I did want to report uh, to the community uh, some statistics um, from public health. Uh, so today, as of today, there are no positive cases within Sudbury. All cases have been resolved. Um, as far as uh, the uh, testing, there has been um, 26,975 tests being conducted, and this is as of August 16th. Um, confirmed cases are 92, resolved are 90 with two deceased. As of August 17th at 10.30, the Ontario cases totaled 40,745, and of those, 37,000. 36 have been resolved, 2,789 deaths, and 32 hospitalized, and 16 in ICU. Uh, we are sending a reminder to everyone um, to be vig vigilant when you go out and about. Um, try and stay home as much as you can, um, and this will help uh, reduce the spread. And um, to wash your hands uh, or use hand sanitizer. Cover your mouth uh, when coughing or use a, um, or sneezing or use a Kleenex and dispose of that Kleenex right away. Uh, stay six feet away from individuals and wear a homemade mask. Uh, if, you have to if you have to travel outside and to the areas with higher incidence of COVID-19, as per our order, um, we um, are requesting that you practice all precautionary measures and when you return home, that you uh, obtain a test and show that uh, negative result. And if it is positive, um, we do have the supports uh, for you um, and to isolate for the 14 days. Uh, we have uh, amended the reopening of the community plan. This was approved by uh, Gimont and Council at the August 18th uh, band meeting, so that was last night. This will be posted to the website uh, this week. And we will have a flyer that will go out to the community that will uh, explain the amendments. Um, that's it for health. And I'm going to bring it, uh, leave it now to education. Miigwech. Have a great week. Hi, everyone. My name is Darlene Schwanquid, our Education and Social Services Director. And with me is uh, Kimberly Nichtai, our Education Coordinator, who uh, manages our education program. As you may be aware, Ontario has released its back to school plan and parents have expressed their concerns over the safe return to class on September 8, 2020. The Ministry of Education indicates that parents will have the choice on whether their children will attend school in person or whether their children will stay at home and participate in remote learning. To improve our planning for our, a successful school year and to support our students and their families, our education team is conducting a telephone education survey. Uh, the on-reserve surveys are almost completed and we uh, have circulated through the weekly flyer and off-reserve call-out. Also, you may have received uh, telephone calls or emails from the various schools that your children attend. Um, asking that you fill out uh, the school survey to indicate if you're going to be sending your child to school or if you're going to opt for remote learning. Um, one form is to be filled out per child. Um, the deadline date for the Sudbury Catholic District School Board is August 20th. Uh, August 21st at 1 p.m. is the deadline for the Rainbow District School Board. Also, parents must register with the Sudbury Student Services Consortium by calling 705-521-1234, uh, and there's also a link that you can um, use to uh, register your child. This will be shared on our website and uh, in the flyers. Um, basically, just to give a little recap of what's being provided um, through the school boards, um, all services um, will still be intact, regardless if you choose to send your child 
to school or opt for uh, remote learning online. Um, in regards to our survey results, um, uh, depending on what the need is, um, we could end up providing designated space to be coordinated for students who may require additional assistance during their online learning. Times will vary depending on need. Students will have to participate um, in live online learning, learning during the school day. This will not replace the scheduled timetable time or schedule as provided by teachers and schools. Um, also, the online instruction is going to be similar to um, going to school. There's 300 minutes per day, Monday to Friday. So parents are responsible to ensure that your, your child is uh, doing their part. Attendance will be taken. Um, uh, updates received from the Ministry of Education or, and or the school boards will be provided through the website and weekly flyers. Um, some of the things that uh, our education program will be providing to students uh, to help offset some costs will be providing. Uh, so there will be a minimum of two face masks per day provided uh, for each student. Uh, we're also providing back to school packages. Uh, parents must register with uh, Jesse Lee, our education support worker at jlee at wlfn.com. Um, so there was a question that was sent to us regarding uh, homeschooling and um, I just wanted to define for you the difference between homeschooling and remote learning online. Uh, schools and teachers aren't involved with homeschooling. It's the parent's responsibility for teaching their child. It is different from the school board and there's no financial assistance or tuition paid. Um, for remote learning online, teachers, education supports are in place and provided from the school. Um, tuition is paid for each resident student um, and the links will be provided uh, as stated earlier for each school board to fill out the applications or the survey sorry that's it make much kimberly for that update uh thank you everyone that tuned in if you have any more questions please reach out you can contact the education team by calling 705-692-3651, extension 210, or emailing knuchtai at wlfn.com. Um, and there's also lots of information on the education page of our website. Bama P and have a great evening. Bama P.